After a video of several trucks loaded with military cargoes appeared on social media, Azerbaijani media has claimed that the first consignment of India's Pinaka multi barrel rocket launcher system is en route to Armenia via Iran. Armenia's adversary Azerbaijan makes heavy use of drones and loitering munitions, due to which Armenia selected the Pinaka Mark I that has the ability to shoot and then disappear quickly, which is crucial to survive in a drone saturated battlefield. Meanwhile, the assistant to the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan has expressed concerns about the expanding military cooperation between India and Armenia, saying that India's supply of weapons to its adversary Armenia is an unfriendly move. The DRDO is all set to start development of a three-layered long-range surface-to-air missile known as LRSAM defense system, which would be able to strike down enemy aircraft and missiles at 400 kilometers. The proposal is at an advanced stage in the Defense Ministry, and the $2.5 billion project is expected to be taken up for clearance soon. The LRSAM will have three layers of surface-to-air missiles, which would allow it to hit targets at different medium to long ranges. The project lead for the program is the Indian Air Force, and it will be in the class of the Russian S-400 air defense system. The Indian Air Force has embarked on a crucial mission to replace its outdated Mica missile on its Rafale aircraft with the indigenous Astra Mark I and Astra Mark II. The Rafale aircraft are armed with two Mica variants, but they have been deemed insufficient in today's dynamic air combat scenarios. MBDA is working on the development of the Mica NG missile with longer range capabilities, but its availability in 2028 is considered to be too late for the Air Force's urgent requirements. The Indian Air Force is all set to equip its fighter jet fleet with locally developed software-defined radios that are currently undergoing developmental testing and are expected to be cleared for production later this year. The indigenous software-defined radios will be specifically tailored to cater to the requirements of Tejas Mark II AMCA Unted BF fighter jets, followed by later batches of Tejas Mark I-A fighter jets, that will revolutionize the communication capabilities of these aircraft. The DRDO has completed the flight trials of the Archer short-range unmanned aerial vehicle, and it is now gearing up to conduct weapons trials in the coming weeks. It can be armed with free-fall bombs of 5 kg, as well as air-to-surface missiles. The Archer will have to demonstrate its ability to carry out precision strikes and engage targets effectively, and the success of these trials will lead to its induction. The Indian Air Force is actively engaged in discussions with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited which has made a compelling proposal to convert six Boeing 767 civilian aircraft into multi-mission tanker transport aircraft in the first phase, with an additional three in the second phase. HAL and Indian Air Force are aiming to sign the agreement shortly, and once the final configuration is determined, HAL will initiate the tendering process for the purchase of pre-owned Boeing 767 aircraft from Indian aircraft leasing companies. The conversion activities will be carried out locally at Uhal facility, with assistance from Israel Aerospace Industries. Oh,